I'm going to teach you how to drive successful AI adoption in your organization. Right on. For companies to get value and impact out of generative AI, it's crucial that people in the, in the company are actually using the AI. Otherwise, nothing will happen. So what's your experience with this? I've been working with Redvana here in Norway on an AI adoption project. So when we first started out, we did a baseline survey with the employees on their weekly use frequency mm -hmm. of the tools that they had available. In February, that was 36%. And by the end of the program that we ran uh, in end of April, it was 71%. So a doubling. A doubling. But what did you do to achieve this? Well, we did several things. Um, three key takeaways, I would say, is one, top management anchoring. So we had the top management um, being sponsors, but also good role models for what they want to achieve within their employee group. So being uh, open about and encouraging everyone to use AI, they also assigned AI ambassadors on the ground floor so that they had both top-down approach, but also bottom-up where you build the culture in between. So the top manager made it safe for everybody to use the tools because they were using them themselves and communicating a lot. And then at the same time, you had people on the ground, regular employees who knows about AI, who could teach and help others. So what are the two other points? So the second point mm -hmm. was that we made tailored training programs. Mm -hmm. So that was all about understanding what the employees tasks were, mm -hmm. what type of processes, their pain points, obviously, mm -hmm. but also what type of tools and what the functionality in those tools allowed them to do. Mm -hmm. So we tailored all of that training and created a training program for them. So this is not a general program where everybody gets the same information, but it's tailored so that people actually get support for the tasks that they are doing. And in that sense, making it easy for them to master the tools on their own work. The third tip, which is actually a genius move that Redvana had already made, was to combine HR and IT as functions. Mm -hmm. So that is all about understanding that you cannot implement a technology in a silo where you have change management in another silo. That needs to be done in tandem because if you want to make technology an ad adopted practice, then you need to understand how humans adopt that technology. So people responsible for the tools and for uh, change management in the same place. Exactly. If you are interested in using this approach in your own organization, get in touch. <laughs>